Jody here and I'm super excited to share with you all today one of my secret favorite summertime wild foraged dishes to make. These people pay top dollar at farmers markets just to get this particular mushroom that can be found in our oak hickory Ozark forest. I also have my old black lab here you can probably hear her. But it is important to know how to identify all the mushrooms, especially if you're going to eat any of them. And it is very, very important to know your own body type. So you always want to taste test a little bit to make sure, especially if your body is sensitive to anything, that you will not have sensitivity to this. But I have two of our species of chanterelles in my hand. So one of these mushrooms, the chanterelle, has slight gilling on the bottom of it. And we actually have another version of this known as the smooth chanterelle, which basically has no gill or ridges underneath at all. But even the one that do, does have gills, it's very, very shallow gills and not the classic cap with big feathery gills. Neither of them do. And they're both trumpet shaped and obviously orange. So you can spot them from a long ways away but very, very delicious and high on the edibility end. In most cases, it is labeled at a one four four for edibility. Very, very tasty, wonderful mushroom, chanterelles. So let's look at what they look like on the ground. So this is what chanterelles look like on the forest floor, and you can easily just grab them, pick them up. Of course, all mushrooms are like the apple of the tree. They are the fruiting body of the organism. The rest of the organism is underneath the ground, and this is the fruit of the organism that we're eating. And these mostly are all smooth chanterelles, but I have another one over here. You can see this is the regular chanterelle um, that is much more gilled and kind of lighter in color and pretty big as well. There you go. This is also an awesome time to rub your arms and rub your legs down because this is classic in Missouri time for chiggers. And if you don't know, chiggers are actually just little baby mites and mites have these little tiny bright orange bodies that are super soft. So this is also blackberry season. You can go for foraging blackberries or foraging wild mushrooms and chiggers are abound. And all you have to do is rub and you literally obliterate their body. So rub down every time you go and collect creatures so that you obliterate the chiggers. I'm going to plug Maxine Stone here because she is the actual author to this book and we were so gracious to actually have her as a guest speaker at Earth's Classroom a few years back. But this is a wonderful, wonderful resource if you're here in Missouri, Missouri's Wild Mushrooms, to utilize this to make sure you have the right species and also wonderful recipes in the back. So, I have collected it all. I've actually stemmed it off, the dirty part, rinsed them off just very, very slightly, and have them in my cast iron pan here that I like to cook everything in. Um, and one other thing that I'd like to talk about is when you carry them, I had them in a canvas, um, ca uh, canvas cotton bag, but if you have a netted bag, that is a really beneficial thing when you carry around and are collecting mushrooms because, again, this is the fruiting body of the organism and they produce spores and if you carry them like in a netted bag, you spread the spores throughout the whole forest to actually spread the organism, which is a beneficial thing to do, especially if you like edible mushrooms. So before I do anything else, I am going to actually rip these into bite-sized pieces in my pan. So I'm going to do this and the edibility of them is so high and Different species of chanterelles are actually found throughout the whole planet on most of our different continents. They're highly praised over in Europe, they're in Africa, North, South, Central America. It's a very, very great mushroom to have, even just battered and fried. I love these battered and fried. I remember one of the first times that I ate them battered and fried, I pounded a huge plate full of them and really thought my digestive system might change drastically, and it didn't, <laughs> but you never know. So always, you know, go with caution again on all edibles. Okay, so I've about got them all broke up. 
And I'd like to do another shout out to Joe and Carissa Quayle because they're the ones who introduced a version of this recipe, basically almost exactly what I'm sharing with you. I got that, got this idea from them for chanterelle, chanterelle mushrooms. Okay, do you see any others that need to be ripped up to bite-sized pieces? Yeah, over here. Okay, you see any others, granite? Nope. Okay, so now I'm going to add a big, large, um, sweet, sweet onion or a yellow onion, something mild to add with it, and then grab a nice, cheap, dry white wine. I mean, you can go expensive if you want, but um, I go cheap with this anyways, and you want to really almost completely submerge them in, in this white wine. And I'm going to press it down so that I know I'm going to turn it on high and reduce them in that white wine. And man, these mushrooms and onions just, these mushrooms are so good at absorbing the tangy flavors of the wine. They actually almost have, when you pop them open and smell the raw mushroom, it almost has an apricot smell to it. Kind of a citrusy smell anyways, just a bit. Anyways, we're gonna reduce this for several minutes until it starts sizzling in the pan before we do the next step. Oh, can you hear it? It's starting to sizzle now. All of the wine has has definitely fully reduced and all the alcohol is boiled off. So now to the sauteing a bit. I'm gonna put a huge clump of clarified butter that I made myself and maybe even add a little bit of olive oil now because now the point is to saute pretty good in some oils. Get a little brown, a little crispier. And adding in there, three really big, large, chopped up, diced up cloves of garlic that I just diced. Oh yeah, baby. This is smelling so divine. My um, salivary glands are kicking in now. Yeah, this is looking pretty. Okay, and I have over here some shaved local organic cheese from, so you can choose whatever cheese of your liking that you would like to have. I think this is organic Havarti cheese from our local CSA, Avant Gardens. Again, thank you, Joe and Carissa Coyle for starting that CSA in our local area. CSA stands for uh, Community Supported Agriculture. Okay, now I'm simply gonna add, I rinsed and drained angel hair pasta, so I'm gonna add the angel hair pasta, and there's so much goodness in this um, cast iron skillet that you gotta just mix it within the cast iron skillet, add that into it, toss that pasta in with all of that. Pasta cooled off quite a bit. And here it is, all plated up. Those gorgeous, gorgeous chanterelle mushrooms that have been reduced in wine, sauteed, and plated up with some gorgeous pasta. Just recently collected that way through the forest. Look for these mushrooms to come up just a few days after a really good summer rain, and they pop up like the fruit that they are so that you can harvest them. They're very, very good and rich in different minerals and vitamins as well, but 90% of it is water, so that's what, why they're waiting for all that rain. So, thank you so much for joining this little journey, and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can see the very next latest educational video. Best classroom with no walls, first classroom. Cheers.